is have a really solid pre-match routine. And this is something I read in a sports psychology book back when I was, I was probably my sophomore or junior year of college. Made a huge difference, huge difference in my wrestling. You know, I wish I had done this stuff in high school too. And it was just having the same thing that I would do to warm up all the time. And I mean to the T. Not just, not just, you know, I do a few things the same. It's, I stretch at this time, you know, when I'm on triple deck. Then I do my shadow drill. Then I do my deep breathing. Then I drill with my partner. When do the straps go up? When does the headgear get put on? Knowing all that to the tape. Now, it's not supposed to be done in a superstitious way. So it's like, okay, if you throw something off, if something comes in out of order, you know, now I'm going to lose the match. No, it's not about that, but it's about when everyone else is doing other things. You know, the match is going on. You're, you know, your friends are out there wrestling. You're thinking about that, the crowd, do you see that going on? No, you don't want to get pulled in different directions. If there's a big upset, your friend has a big win, your friend has a big loss. No, you're doing the same things over and over. So it's, you're stretching, you're doing your deep breathing, all those things in succession. And that quiets your mind down. It helps you control your own energy, right? If you do the same thing over and over, you know exactly where your mindset's going to be. You know the thoughts that are going to be in your head. You know the emotions that are going to be going on. You get less distracted by other things coming at you, all right? So, Make sure your athletes put together a solid pre-match routine and practice this over and over. This should be like a two or three day week exercise on their own. They can come in on their own before practice, after practice, and just go through their routine. Like literally 10 minutes, go through each and everything that you, that you will do before a match and get that in. So then what happens is when you step out before a match, this is a very comfortable thing. You put yourself in this mindset, feeling these same emotions over and over and over, you feel great. I'm telling you, I felt like a million bucks when I, when I stepped on the mat. It didn't always lead to the greatest outcome, but I felt great. It wasn't a matter of nervousness holding me back when I stepped on the mat. So get those routines down. Now, I mentioned a few things in there that um, we want to include, one of which being deep breathing. And this helps tremendously, taken from Eastern philosophies and just really quiets your mind down. Usually when we get when we get very nervous and we're thinking about a lot of different things, we start breathing, our, we change our breathing. We start breathing faster. We, don't, we start breathing in our chest. We want this all done in our stomach, nice and calm, relaxed. So what you do is about, probably when you're in, your wrestler's on double deck, you don't want to do it right when they're on deck because then it could possibly, you know, if there's a quick pin and they have to go out there right away. Double deck's a great time for this. Go off into a bathroom behind the, you know, whatever, go behind the bleacher or something, find a quiet area and just take some deep breaths for about, I'd say two minutes. And when you're doing this, you don't want to be thinking about anything else other than your breathing. And so now, briefly, what, is, what does deep breathing look like? How should, it, how should it appear? How do the wrestlers practice this? And it's, you want to make sure you can start with a hand on their stomach, deep breath in through their nose, out through their mouth. And when you place your hand in your stomach, you should only feel your stomach rising. If your chest is rising while you're taking those deep breaths, if I take a breath and I go, it's too, it's too short. That's not effective breathing. Effective breathing is done in your stomach. All right? All you're thinking about when you're taking those deep breaths is the air passing in through your nose and then out through your mouth. And again, why are we doing this? Because by controlling our breath, we control our energy. We're not thinking about the crowd. We're not thinking about the coaches. We're not thinking about expectations. We're just in our own center, so to speak, and we're just relaxing. So that's an important thing. And when